Lead is a huge problem lowering the IQs of children and adults around the world. The world is so contaminated with lead that it's really, really sad. In this video today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to detox lead and some of the sources where we accumulate this. So because of the nature of lead and how it is found in leaded gasoline, which was used for decades and still is used in developing countries, lead has been released into the air and then into our soils and is still in our soils getting into our foods today. It's also in paints and still used in paints around the world. So any home that you're living in that's built before 1978 have, probably has lead paint on the wall. So anyone doing repainting, restoration, you're releasing lead dust into the air. You do not wanna do that if you have small children around. Lead is also in the water supply. There is lead in so many pipes today uh, the, that are you know, bringing the water into your home and that can be a source of lead as well. Lead is also in shellfish and fish as well, large migratory fish. I mean, it's just everywhere. You can't avoid lead. Everyone has some amount of lead in their body and it's mainly stored in their bones. So uh, as you know, the body uses the bones, it's kind of a storage garbage facility, but when women go into menopause, they have faster bone cell turnover as that protective estrogen lowers, lead gets released into their system, it causes cataracts, it causes fatigue, and it causes other health issues that women attribute to just getting older. It's lead is a contributing factor to these symptoms. Um, lead is also found in the kidneys. It also contributes to high blood pressure as well. It's a big underlying root uh, cause of hypertension. Uh, lead causes a lot of different problems. It damages the brain, the nervous system. It, it contributes to infertility. I mean, there are just so many issues with lead. So how do we detox it? So with lead, you want to take a binder, a binder like a citrus pectin found in a product I developed called Citra Cleanse is a great way to absorb lead like a sponge from your digestive system. Uh, you can also just eat more fiber in your diet. That's also a great way to bind onto lead. Uh, you can take chelators or things like DMSA uh, that you can use to chelate lead. You can take things like chlorella, uh, cilantro as well is very effective, cilantro extract not eating cilantro leaves, it's not strong enough. Um, there are things you can do like infrared saunas. Those are great to sweat out different heavy metals and chemicals that we all have. Ionic foot baths, also amazing to detox lead. Uh, and you can also take things like minerals, uh, minerals like calcium very, very effective at displacing and pushing lead out of the body. And you gotta have liver support in there as well. You know, so many people's livers aren't functioning very well. A uh, hundred million people in the United States alone have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And so you need to be adding liver support uh, to your overall health regimen, not just to detox lead. Um, so you can do things like coffee enemas, you can do things like liver flushes, you can also take liver supportive herbs like beets, dandelion root, uh, burdock root, broccoli sprouts. You can take NAC, N-acetylcysteine, a lot of different nutrients that you can take to support your liver. Taurine is also another great one. I created a product called Daily Detox, which has a lot of amazing herbs and nutrients in it, medicinal mushrooms to support, to support your liver and immunity. So you can check that out, uh, all those products that I mentioned, and links to all my favorite detox protocols like red saunas and ion foot baths at the link below. I'm Dr. Wendy Myers. Uh, I'm your expert helping you detox your body and your home. You can learn more about me at myersdetox.com.